We have received a question that in what ways can neighbors or relatives create problems in family life? Look at this beautiful teachings of Islam. Whoever has been granted apart from gentleness, he has been granted betterment of this world and hereafter. Treating the neighbors well and treating relatives well or treating with good manners and behavior is the means of enlivening cities and blessings in lifespans. It is mentioned in hadith, the one who believes in Allah and the day of judgment, he should not harm his neighbor. Let me mention one more hadith. The one who believes in Allah and the day of judgment, he should respect his guest. The one who believes in Allah and the day of judgment, he should either talk good or remain silent. Well, in this hadith, guest is also mentioned. Our neighbors and our relatives are in fact part of our lives and we can't separate ourselves from them unless Islamic law permits. Now after we have heard these ahadith, let's come to our topic that is interference. Okay. The point I'm trying to explain is that, that if the same relatives, same neighbors and same guests will become cause of destruction of my own relationship or will become cause of conflicts or disturbance of peace at my house, then in reaction my feelings about my neighbors, relatives or guests would be unexplainable. All right. Hence, I should become such neighbor who becomes means of strengthening neighbor's relationship. Beautiful. One more thing. When you were buying a house, did you consider this fact that what kind of people are there in that area, town or in your neighborhood? Well, try to live near pious people as because of one pious individual, 100 neighbors are granted peace and ease. In addition, we should also not ignore interference of guests in relationships. And the fourth factor which is normally ignored, that is workers working at home. The maid will either talk about mother-in-law to daughter-in-law or vice versa. She may backbite and talk about one person to another person because she wants to show sympathy. A person who shows sympathy is liked. But the point is, while showing sympathy, she committed sin of tale-telling, lying, backbiting and slandering. With houseworkers, there are many other issues involved. But as we are talking about interference, remember the person interfering in our relationships could be our driver, our gardener or a person hired for security. Any of these employees could be the reason of interference in our relationship. Because our family members have interaction with such people, it's a fact. They can poison one's ears against anyone easily. Brother Salman, we should at least be that intelligent that if someone comes to me and interferes in my internal matters and is backbiting, slandering, tale-telling about my family, then don't I have a tongue in my mouth that I can say, stop it? Why are you interfering? How unfortunate is that woman who talks ill about her husband with neighbors and relatives? Well, sometimes children are unwise. And this is the fifth factor I'm going to discuss. Mother sits with children and tries to explain her pain and grief to them. As children are not wise enough, they then provoke her against their father. Or sometimes father sits with his children and he tries to do the same thing. Okay, this factor is internal factor. But today our topic is the external factors which play a vital role in disturbing peace, tranquility and harmony of our relationships. This negative role could be yours. You may be thinking about somebody who was the cause of destroying your relationship. It is possible that you are also one of them who became the cause of destroying someone else's relationship. Sometimes, in certain cases, it is necessary to involve someone for reconciliation or to settle or calm down situation. Now, when you do this, then before, you should think, who are you involving? That person does not possess knowledge, gentleness, kindness or piety. Or he neither possesses any ability to advise. Such person who doesn't have such qualities is not the best choice. One very important point I want to mention. If any one of your neighbors is disobeying Allah in your matters, but in return you shouldn't disobey Allah in his matters.